So the question is there on your screen. Uh, I'll give you one or two minutes to read the question and try it out. So once you guys are uh, ready with the solution, please let me know if you have got the answer. Then we will go about solving the question. So what is given here? In, uh, in nine teachers are there who are living on different floors of a building, not necessarily in the same order. Each of them teach the following subjects, but not necessarily in the same order. Now it is given that you lives on an even numbered floor, but not on the eighth, eighth floor. Okay, so first I'm going to make the arrangement here. See, there are totally nine floors, correct? So the topmost floor is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So these are the floors that are there. Now it is given that U is living on an even numbered floor and not on the eighth floor. So what does that mean? Where can U come? You can either be in floor number two or four or six because it is given U is living on an even numbered floor and it cannot be on the 8th floor. So the only other possibility is you can either be in floor 2 or 4 or 6. Now it is given only two teachers live between you and the one who teaches Hindi. So if you is there, there are two teachers who live between you and the person who teaches Hindi. Next it is given that only two teachers live between the one who teaches Hindi and the one who teaches chemistry. So again, there is a teacher who is teaching Hindi and there are two people between the teacher who is teaching Hindi and the teacher who is teaching chemistry. See, I don't know who is on top, who is on bottom and all. I have just written down whatever is given there. That's all. Now, next question, next statement. It says, the one who teaches Hindi lives on the topmost floor. So, where is the person who is teaching Hindi living? The person who is teaching Hindi is living here. Now, if I have fixed this, what can I say? See, they have said that there are two persons in between you and the person teaching Hindi. So, where should you be? U has to be here, correct? Also, they have said that there are two persons between the person teaching Hindi and chemistry. So, where should be the person teaching chemistry? It has to be you, correct? You has to be the person who is teaching chemistry because Hindi is in the topmost floor. After that, there are no floors. So, the only place where I can place this person teaching chemistry is here. So, I can say that U is in the sixth floor teaching chemistry. So, now I have fixed U also. Next, what is given? Uh, the one who teaches physics lives on an odd numbered floor and Q teaches physics. So Q is teaching physics and lives on an odd numbered floor. Odd numbered floor means which are the possibilities where Q can come? He can come either in 1, 3, 5 or 7. Now, what does the next statement say? Q does not live immediate above or below U. So Q does not live immediately above or below U means Q cannot come in position 7 or 5. So Q cannot come in position 7 or 5 means where should Q be? Q should either be in position 1 or 3. Now again we have to fix that. Let's look at the next statement. Only two teachers live between Q and P who teaches civics. So if, if I am saying that uh, Q is here, okay. If Q is in position 1, where can P be? P can be in position 4. Similarly, if Q is in position 3, where can P be? P has to be in position 6. Is that possible? That's not possible. See, here I have found out that Q can either be in position 1 or 3. And they have said that between Q and P, there are two people who are there between Q and P. Only two teachers live between Q and P. So, now, uh, see, if I, so I am considering the possible cases. First, I am assuming that Q is in position 1. If Q is in position 1, where should P be? P can be in position 4. Now, if Q is in position 3, where can P be? P has to be in position 6, which is not possible. So, P, this Q cannot be in the third floor. Q definitely has to be on the first floor. Then only I can place P here. And it is already given that P is teaching P who teaches civics. So, P is teaching civics. So that's also fixed. Again, I also know that Q is teaching, this is civics, this is physics. P is teaching civics, Q is teaching physics. Next one, M teaches geography and lives on an even numbered floor. So I can say M is teaching geography and lives on an even numbered floor means what are the possibilities here? It is, can either be on floor 2 or 8. Again, I don't know if it is floor 2 or 8. Let us keep that information aside. Only two persons live between M and the one who teaches history. 
only one teacher lives between the one who teaches history and the one who teaches English. N teaches English and lives above the one who teaches history. O teaches biology and lives on an even numbered floor but not on the second floor. See there is one statement given here. See I have not made use of these statements that were given in between. I have just kept it as such. There is a statement here which says that O teaches biology and lives on an even numbered floor and not on the second floor. So where can I place O? See if you look at the even numbered floors, we have filled up 4, 6. We are left with 2 and 8. Now out of this 2 and 8, we know 1 is going to be geography. Now it is given here that O is teaching biology and is living on an even numbered floor and not on the second floor. So where should I place O? O definitely has to be here and O has to be on the 8th floor and O is teaching biology. So now I can fix the position of M. So definitely M cannot be on the 8th floor, M has to be on the 2nd floor. So where should I place M? M is on the 2nd floor teaching geography. Now let us look at the remaining information. Only one teacher lives between, no, no, only two teachers live between M and the one who teaches history. So where should be the teacher who is teaching history? See only two teachers live between M and the person who teaches history means if this is M, where should history be? History should be here. Next, only one teacher lives between the one who teaches history and the one who teaches English. And then next it is given that N teaches English and lives about the one who teaches history. So it is given clearly that there is only one person between the person who teaches history and English. So if this is history, either this can be English or this can be English. But it is, see, if this is history, this can be English or this can be English. But what have they clearly given? Next statement they say that N teaches English and lives above the one who teaches history. So where should N be? This has to be N and this has to be English. So this cannot be English. So what should come here? The only remaining subject here is Sanskrit. So this has to be Sanskrit. Now, uh, now we are left with two, we have name of persons to fill. Next what is given? O teaches biology and lives on an even numbered floor that we have used. R does not teach either Sanskrit or Hindi. So R does not teach Sanskrit or Hindi means R definitely has to teach history. Then it is given that T lives on a floor above S. So here we are left with two people. We have uh, put in the names of the remaining persons. We are left with only two persons T and S. Now here it is clearly given that T is living above S. Means this has to be S and this has to be Okay, so this is the final arrangement that you get. Okay, see in this particular question, uh, what you have to do is, uh, if you go step by step itself, you will arrive at the answer. So some of you asked me, I don't know where to start for this particular question. Actually, they have uh, given the question in such a way that by doing every step, you get, uh, you are able to get information. So this would be the final arrangement that you get. Yes, so I hope it is clear. And once you are done with this arrangement, no, solving the questions is very, very easy. Uh, the questions that follow. Yeah. First question, which of the following combinations is or are true? So which is the answer for the first one? So R is in floor number 9 history. No, that's not true. U is in floor number 7. No, that's not true. U is in, U is chemistry, correct? So that's also not true. Um, this is also not true. So the correct answer here is option D. O is floor number 8, biology. That is the correct answer. This is the correct combination. Next one. Floor. Who is living on the third floor? S is living on the third floor and S is teaching Sanskrit. So the correct answer here is none of these. Option E. Yes, everybody is getting it correctly. Good. Which of the following statements is or are true? P, P does not live on the fourth floor. No, that's not uh, true, correct? P lives on the fourth floor. T lives on the topmost floor. Uh, yes, that is true. U teaches chemistry. That's also true. So they're asking which of these statements are true? Yes, statement 2 and 3. That is B and C are true. So the correct answer is option D. Option D is the correct answer. Okay, fourth question. How many persons live between the one who teaches biology and P? So how many people are living between the one who teaches biology and P? See biology is here, P is here. There are three people in between. Floor 7, 6 and 5. So 
three people are there correct answer is option 